I know it's been a few weeks since I made a video. There really just hasn't been much going on. I, uh, over the course of the last couple weeks, I field cultivated 16 acres and I ran the harrow across 55 acres, getting, uh, getting the bean fields ready to plant. We had a couple days worth of rain last week, two or three days, I think. And then, uh, Everything was dried up probably four to five days ago, ready to go. And we were getting ready to plant soybeans. And we normally use our dealer's seed tender, and it's, it hasn't been a problem for many, many years. And this year, they had a, another guy using it, and that kind of put a dampering on things. So we decided it was time to get our, ourselves a seed tender of some sort. And... I tell you what, the ones that take the pro boxes and the ones that just the other seed tenders with the hoppers and augers on them, those are expensive. I didn't really realize that. That's what I'd really like to have is a one of those. But instead, we ended up picking up a uh, gravity wagon with the auger on it. Fairly cheap, really. I picked that up two days ago. And it's not a bad little wagon uh, for the price I paid for it. It's got a nice little auger on it right there. Runs off of hydraulics, which as most of you know, um, this is way more than enough what we need. And it finally gives the old Farm All 300 a use on the farm again. We don't really use this tractor much anymore. So now it can sit here and just run the seed tender for us. It's an easy enough job. Maybe one day I'll I was thinking about maybe getting a little Honda motor with a hydraulic pump just to mount on the front of it, but we'll see. This works good enough for now. It's just these hydraulic hoses that came with it are a little short, so you gotta unhook those if you start doing any turning. As far as that, I'm pretty excited to have that around now, kind of. Uh, I'm just not a fan of wagons. They're just, they're a hassle to maneuver around, but I'll just have to deal with it for the little bit that we're going to use it. So yesterday, I started planting soybeans. We got a real late start. Like I said, stuff was still drying up. And plus, uh, so today's Thursday. So Tuesday night, we had a real light rain that lasted all night long. So it took until yesterday evening for it to really be dry enough to go out and try to plant anything. So I started about five o'clock and I finally parked it about eight. Um, I kept plugging it up, kept plugging the planter up. Now, there was still some leftover seed from a few years ago in this grain wagon we just bought. And I thought we had it cleaned out good enough, but I guess there was some stuff stuck in the auger that we didn't see. So now I planted seven acres and I plugged the planter up two different rows. I plugged up row six once, and I plugged up row five two or three times. And each time you gotta pull the hoses off. Well, I'll show you. It's not too big of a job, but each time you gotta pull the seed hose off here, and then you gotta get up under here and pull the seed hose off the manifold, and then get the seed hose unplugged. Well then, once that's unplugged, you gotta take the drum off, and then you gotta get an air compressor, and then you gotta stick it in either in the back, which works best coming through the back here, into the manifold. And once you come into the manifold back there with a blow gun, you know, you gotta blow it out because there's probably a foot worth of plastic uh, manifold in here that gets hung up and what it was it's these big chunks uh big chunks of old rotted seed and so hopefully i don't have too many more problems it was just getting frustrating yesterday so and the last time it plugged up or the second to last time it plugged up we uh man, the camera made it look like the door and the combine was open the second to last time it plugged up I brought it back up to the shop, we blew it out, got it good. 
Went back out in the field. I made about 50 feet and it was plugged again. Then I took about roughly 20 minutes out there in the field trying to get it unplugged again because I didn't want to come back to the shop. But I couldn't get it to unplug, so I parked it. So this morning, I'm going to run it up to the shop, take the seed hose off, seed tube, and try to blow it back out. And then we're going to go out and finish that nine-acre field. But, you know, roughly two acres left in there, and then I need to hop across the road to a seven-acre field. And then I need to run a mile up the road to a 13-acre field. And once we get that done, we got... I believe this is 27, 28 acres out here by the house. We need to plant. I, my acreage could be off a little bit. So that's the plan for today. But they're calling for, uh, it was a 70% chance, now it's down to 50% chance of thunderstorms today. But I think that's gonna be later this afternoon. So hopefully I can get something done. But. Like I said, it's just uh, the last few weeks, not much going on. And now here it is, the last couple days of May, and we're wanting to get these beans in the ground. We got neighbors that already have beans up. Oh yeah, I also bought this a couple weeks ago. Traded the old Ranger in. Let's get this uh, 766 here fired up and head up to the shop and get this blown out. I don't know, oh, that was close. marker landed on the mower uh i don't know if i'm gonna do much filming today really i mean it's the same old story just like we was corn planting just back and forth back and forth same tractor same planter uh i'll try to get a few shots here and there but i'm not gonna bore you with all the same old stuff so we're gonna run this up to the shop and get it unplugged and on top of the planter being getting plugged up a few times yesterday, the bad part is, is row six plugged up on me. Well, last year I had this problem, and this year I'm having the same problem. My monitor is telling me row six has failed all the time. So I'm just going by pure chance that it's actually planting, and I get out once in a while and check and make sure it is. But yesterday... It was saying it wasn't planting and then it really wasn't planting so i'm gonna try to throw a new sensor on there again i've already messed with the plug a few times i'm not i'm not sure what to do so i'm gonna try another new sensor and hopefully that fixes it but we put a new sensor on it last year and it didn't fix it so i don't have high hopes Well, I changed that sensor on that number six row and it's still giving me problems. It's saying it's not flowing. So I've been running with it. I finished up that nine acre field and I started on the seven acre field and I got 3.9 acres on it. Then I run out of seed. So we're gonna fill this up real quick. I come over here and turn the gas on. Get this fired up. And now I don't, I forget. I think it's gotta go back.
As long as we can keep this from overfilling, which I think we're doing pretty good at the rate. This was a little easier yesterday when there was two of us, but this is working. Alright, I'd say that's pretty full. Let's get this thing turned off. say this this uh wagon with the auger is a little harder to control in my opinion than a regular seed tender but it was also like an eighth of the price of a seed tender i mean i paid 1500 bucks for that and the, the seed tenders i was looking at were you know seven eight thousand and up so it works it's a, I'll get used to it hopefully. It's a little tricky, like I said, one person, but because I'm trying to control the flow, trying not to run it over, I'll, I'll figure it out. So, all right, well, we're gonna go finish up that seven acre piece. Should have about four acres left. Then I'm gonna run up the road and head up a 13 acre piece. Well, the weather app said there was a 50% chance of thunderstorms, but I think that's more going to be 100. Sky was turning black, and I started feeling raindrops. And I was a mile from the shed, so I figured I'd better get with it and get down here before I get wet. So I just backed it in the shed and see if this passes by. If it does, we head back out, and if it don't, I have to wait till it dries up. Well, we got rained out Thursday around noon. Today's Sunday. About five o'clock, I figured some of these fields are dry enough, so I went up the road and planted about nine acres, finishing up that 13, 14 acre field. And then I just finished that up and I come down here to my dad's to get a start on it. And I plugged up row number five uh, for some reason, I don't know if we're getting some kind of trash or something in the hopper itself, but we keep plugging up rows on the seed tubes. So I got to pull the hose off and shove the air compressor in there and back blow it and hopefully that clears it up. These here are the seed delivery tubes and they go down into the, uh, this part. And that goes down into the opener. So this goes up into the hopper. The hopper drains it into the drum. It pressurizes it and pushes it out here. So the smallest little piece of junk or trash in there plug these up. So two days ago, which would have been June 1st, I finished planting soybeans. We had a total of 56 acres. Not a whole lot. So... It didn't take too long, but, you know, it took longer than it should have, only because it rained a few times in between. Uh, you know, we can't cover a lot of acres in a day, planting them on six row. Normally, we plant, normally we plant our beans on seven and a half inch rows with a drill. And then last year, we decided to give this a try, putting them on 30 inch rows. And we were pretty happy with that. So we're going to try it again this year. Ideally, we'd like to plant them on 15, 15 inch rows, but we don't have a planter to do that. And we've been looking for a different planter to do that with. So, 
But all in all, it wasn't too bad. For some reason, when I was planting beans, we just kept having problems of plugging up seed tubes. And that got a little frustrating. So now that we're pretty much done with our spring work, our tillage and planting, we're pretty much done until fall. Because we don't side dress our corn. We put all our nitrogen down before we plant. And we don't spray our fields. So... We hire the company up the road to come down and do all our applicating. So from here on out, we'll probably have to give our corn, get our corn sprayed one more time now that it's up and growing. And we'll have to wait until these beans get up and we'll have to spray those one more time. So, but since we don't applicate ourselves, that kind of frees us up to do other things. Um... Maybe one day I would like to buy a sprayer and just kind of do it myself. But that's in the future. So what we're going to do today is, is I'm going to wash up a few things. I'm going to get the planter washed up, get the tractor cleaned up, get my side-by-side -side cleaned up, and get stuff parked in their parking spots. But that's going to do it on this video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. From the west side.